Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Casey Helton and in today's video I am going to be taking down all of my Christmas decor and getting my house back in order. And this is my first video for the new year of 2023 and things have just been so hectic lately. It has been such a chore getting everything taken down and getting my house back in order, but I'm sure you all can relate. I started my undecorating process in my bedroom because it just seemed like the thing that needed to be done most urgently. I had brought my desk back in here and I was ready to get it in place. So I wanted to go ahead and strip all of my bedding and wash everything so it would be nice and fresh for the new year and that is what I am doing here and then I'm going to take down my Christmas tree and all of the decorations that are in my bedroom but first I had massive massive loads of laundry to fold so I'm just gonna fold this one load right quick I know I am either washing or folding a load of laundry every single day. I mean, I guess you should probably do it all in one day, but um, a lot of times I'm washing two or three loads of laundry a day. It's crazy, but I'm sure there are a couple days that I go without washing laundry, so it probably all evens out, <laughs> but it is one of my most dreaded chores. What is one of your most dreaded chores? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you know me, you know I don't like to wear my hair pulled up in a ponytail, but I had so much to do on these days. It was either me or the house, and obviously I chose the house. <laughs> And if you are new to my channel, welcome. I am so glad you're here. I would really appreciate it if you would stick around and hit that subscribe button. I love to do lots of cleaning motivation and decorating videos on my channel. So if that's something you enjoy, make sure you stick around. It is so funny how I love Christmas so much and I love decorating so much, but once Christmas actually starts happening, it just becomes quite stressful to be honest. And I think once it, it's all over, I'm just so overwhelmed and exhausted by everything mentally and physically. It just makes starting the new year out a little challenging, especially for me, but um, I'm so glad that I've got everything finally taken down and put away it is such a huge relief just to start back um, with everything scaled down and we can just see where we want to go from here with my decor and everything I don't know why, but by the end of this whole thing, I needed to order more totes. I don't even think I really bought much new items this year, but it somehow turned out that I had not enough totes. I don't know if I just packed it all in differently, but something happened and I definitely had to order more totes to fit everything in. But this is my favorite part of undecorating is when you can just get your vacuum out and just start vacuuming everything up. It's just such a great feeling of relief. Like, oh my gosh, it's finally coming together. It's coming to an end. Everything is just feeling so fresh and clean. And here's my little desk that I 
got, I don't know, sometime last year, and it has just served me so well in this space. I definitely didn't want to put a desk in my room, but I needed one so that I could edit my videos comfortably. And wow, would you look at that mess? Um, that is from some flocked garland and some icicle garland that I had there on top of the fireplace, so it is very rewarding to get all of that mess cleaned up as well and i'm using my mrs meyers snow scent i absolutely love that scent i think that's one of my favorite mrs meyers scent since to date if you use Mrs. Myers and have a favorite scent, let me know what yours is in the comments below. Or if you use a completely different multi-surface cleaner, I would love to know because maybe there's a new one out there that I need to try. But now it's time to put my bedding in the dryer. So I had washed some of the kids' blankets earlier and I'm just getting those out and then I'm going to put my bedding in the dryer and it will be all ready for me to put on our bed and it's always so cozy when you have freshly washed bedding. I just love it. Honestly, just making the bed itself wears me out. It's such a daunting task getting that fitted sheet on especially a big king bed when you're just constantly walking around it but there it goes rolling up on the corner because we have a mattress topper on top so it is so thick but the sheets are crisp and clean and everything is almost finished here in the bedroom and now i'm going to be getting started in our living room next everything is clean do you see the exhausted look on my face oh my gosh I am just laughing looking at this because I'm like I'm not filming anything but then I'm like it's either I do it now or I don't know when it's going to get done so you're just gonna have to see me looking worn out and exhausted because this is an exhausting job I mean look at all of these decorations I have on my tree I have oh my gosh I don't even know how many toads definitely over 20 and I have seven Christmas trees so it's definitely a lot of work I really think the hardest part about completing a dreaded task is just getting started I am such a procrastinator so it's always hard for me to just get started on something, but once I do, it is just so much easier to get it done. So if you're having trouble getting started out there, just know that you are not the only one and you can do this. <laughs> I never know what to do with my fireplace after Christmas because it's just so bare and I just want to take literally everything down from this space and I feel like I've said this over and over like for over a year now um, and I just can't do it. I cannot take that clock down. I love the clock but it's like how long should you keep an item in one spot before it's like you know, it's just getting stale and you want to replace it with something. But with the way that the fireplace um, is made, I mean, it's a stone fireplace. I just don't feel like a lot of stuff 
looks good with it. So I have a lot of trouble thinking like what could go up there? I mean, the only other thought would be maybe a mirror, but I have a mirror right to the side of it. So I think I'm just gonna stick with the clock. I don't know. Maybe it'll be there for the rest of my life because I can't figure anything out for this space. So right now I'm just going to take everything down and we will just have a clear blank slate for, I don't know, a few weeks or so because I might do something fun for Valentine's Day. So we'll see. If you haven't already, you should check out my last year's Valentine's Day tour video and I will link that right here in the cards, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for Valentine's Day this year. I actually just watched that video and I was like, hmm, I don't know, because I had thought about putting these little uh, floral vases on my mantle, but I feel like I've had them up there. I just keep putting them up there year after year, and I'm like, I don't know what else to put up there. Um, and I didn't get them out of my storage unit this time, but when I watched that video back, I was like, oh my gosh, that looked so cute. Maybe I should go back and get them, but I don't know if I will get them or think of something new, but I'll definitely be on the lookout for some fun new Valentine's Day themed items. I really haven't even been out shopping for home decor at all since Christmas, so I have no idea what's out there yet. I think I do so much shopping during the Christmas season that after Christmas I just can not. I can't even bring myself to go into the stores. Um, I don't even go and get the sale things after Christmas, so I've never even got to partake in that because I just can't even when it comes to that. But I did get these little rattan wicker things out of my storage that I had previously put up here on my fireplace and I brought those back and then I put my chair and this vase. We we're having a, a debate on what side it should go on the vase and I chose the same side as always because I just can't handle change I guess. But now I am all done upstairs. Actually we're going to go back to the upstairs in just a minute but it is the next day and I'm tackling the big kahuna the big tree our family tree i love this tree it is my absolute favorite tree if you haven't seen my christmas decor you should also go back and watch my christmas home tour you can see everything in all of its glory but it is now time to dismantle it all it served us well for the two months <laughs> that i had it up and now it's time to take it down and start fresh. So yeah, this tree has a lot of stuff shoved in it. I mean, a lot of stuff. So it took me quite a while to get it all down. And you will see that here. I'm just filling, I don't know, three totes full perhaps. It was a lot. Where do you store all of your Christmas decorations? I mean, maybe you don't have as much as I do, but we put all of ours in the attic which is crazy i do have a storage unit but i don't even think that i could fit any of this in here with everything else that i have i know it's 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 bad but there are so many toads and i am just so glad i mean so glad that it is all put away and I can start this new year off. I'm going to start organizing. Those are the things that I love to do at the beginning of the year, as many people do, you know, all of the organization bins and products are just being put out and it's time that we just wanna get over all of the Christmas chaos and clutter and start making things feel organized and comfortable again. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. Now that I've got all this down, I'm going to be looking at what organizational items I'm going to need for this new year.
Now that that is finally over, my husband took the tree apart and bagged it up and hauled it on out of here. And I am going to take everything down from the mantle that is just so much stuff that I have on the mantle. It's kind of like gotten a bit heavy over. Um, like, I don't know, literally two days after Christmas, I'm like, all right, this is feeling heavy on my retinas to look at like I'm I'm tired of looking at this so it is nice to and oh, oh it's well past two days after Christmas <laughs> but I'm ready to get everything taken down I think half the stockings were down and scattered about the house and uh yeah this was one of the last things that I had to undecorate in this room um I did have to order a few extra totes which I haven't gotten yet and um, a linen bag I guess um, I'm going to store like my pillows and stuff because wow I had a lot of Christmas pillows and throws down here that I need to get stored away but here we are my favorite part again vacuuming everything up all of the glitter there was so much glitter I mean uh, I don't even know but yeah it felt good to get all of the glitter vacuumed up and I put my uh, pretty plant back here in the corner and it just feels so empty in here but right now I'm kind of loving the emptiness of it and I'm just getting all the surfaces cleaned off and freshly dusted and just putting very minimal decor back in its place again so I can just assess the room and decide where I want to go from here. look at how clean everything is my gosh you guys it took a lot to get here and I am exhausted but ah, it just feels so good the candle is lit it's feeling good but we're not done yet no we're not I washed all of the cushions to the couches in here which I feel like they're kind of like getting they're on their last leg you know like I feel like I'm gonna need a new couch before too long. I don't even know if you're supposed to wash the cushions, but I do <laughs> because I have dogs and they love laying on the couch and I just want it to feel fresh. That is why I keep blankets draped across the couch like you see here. Um, so I got the little throw pillows on the side and I like draping this one over the middle. Um, my dogs are obsessed with that blanket, by the way. And I got it at Kirkland's, the brown one there. Um, our Kirkland's has closed where we live, so I don't know if that's like a national thing. They're just all going to start closing before long or if our store wasn't um, performing well. But um, I just love that color of throw, and I'm probably going to look for another darker. I, li I like um, adding some darker pieces into the rooms. That's what I've been doing here lately. Um, and I've got this other blanket that I'm just going to lay across and this pillow, this long pillow is Buddy's favorite pillow. So, uh, I'm getting that put back on the couch and ready for him. But that is it. That completes my undecorate and clean with me video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got some motivation. And I hope you stick around and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on another video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!